Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will solve a special worksheet on exercise 1b from new syllabus mathematics 1. So let's look at it. The first question says express the following using index notation. So what is index notation? Amra jiri moment number liki. Suppose 5 cube. 5 cube means 5 will be multiplied 3 times. 5 will be multiplied 3 times. A 5 cube k umbra 5 into 5 into 5 she will equip it. Here this 5 is called base, base, and this 3 is called index, index of power, index of power. Uh, a full form that is 5 cube eta camera bully index form. Okay, I'm an index form. So Amade, a kind of question the bullet said, you would have to express this one as index notation express so first we have to understand that how many two are there look one two three here you will get three two that means we can write two q simple now three how many three are there one and two so we can write that will be three square three square means three will be multiplied two times two q means two will be multiplied three times now five how many five are there? One, two, three. That means we can write five cube. Okay, five cube means five will be multiplied three times. And we can write seven buckets. So seven, one, and two. So we can write seven square. Okay, so that will be our final answer. So I'm going to do the index notation and convert to it. Then I'm going to do the final answer of it. Two cube multiplied by three square, multiplied by five cube, multiplied by seven square. Okay, similarly, we can easily solve number B. Here, how many two are there? One, two, three. So we can write two cube. Simple. How many five are there? One, two, three. So we can write five cube. Simple. Because five cube represents five will be multiplied three times. How many three are there? One, two, three. So we can write three cube. And how many seven are there? Only one. So we can just multiply this one by seven. Okay, so in this way we can easily solve number one. Okay, and if we complete this number one properly, we get two marks. I hope you understand this question very much. Now we can go to number two. Number two says express each of the following as a product of prime factors using index notation. Prime factors that means seven two nine eight each factor and that factors will be a prime number. So what is the definition of the prime number? Prime number is that number which is only two factor, one in itself. Suppose we can say two is a prime number, three is a prime number, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. They e number kulu gulo prime number. Okay. So I'm a very good sister kulu. And prime number start with the two things. Okay. So when we get an even number, then we have to divide it by number even number thirty to the divide kulu. Number eight is equal to seven two nine. Seven two nine is odd number. Even prime number the divide for a java now. All over prime number the ash divide for a just a bit. Okay, seven to ninety concur number the divide for a jack. At first, if we add all of these three digit of this number, we get seven plus two nine, nine plus nine, eighteen. Eighteen can be divisible by three, so seven to nine is also divisible by three. Is it seven to nine kit? 3D divide for a So, I'm going to divide for a lot of 3 to the 6, we have 1 as the remainder. So, 1 into 12. So, 3 to the 12. And we have 9 left. So, 3 to the 9. Simple. Again, I'm going to add for example, 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. So, it occur, obviously, 3D divide for a jump. Because we know that a number will be divisible by 3 if some of the digits of that number is divisible by Okay, so 3 is a 24 and 3 ones are 3. Very simple. Again, you can divide 81 by 3. 81 k 3 the divide plus we get 3 to the 6. We have 2 as the remainder. 2 and 1, 21. So 3, 7 to 21. Very simple. Then 27 by what? 27 by 3. Yes, we can divide 27 by 3. It will be 9. Similarly, 9 can be divisible by 3 and it will be 3. So 729 can be expressed in this way. 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 
here multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 3. So look at this. How many 3 are there? You will get total 6, 3. That means it will be 3 to the power 6. Okay. That means 3 will be multiplied 6 times. So this is the index notation form. Okay. We have to express our answer in this way. Now, 250, number B. Number B, 250, that is also very simple. How to solve it? Look, 250 can be divisible by 2 at first. Why? Because 250, the unit digit is 0. That means it is an even number. A number which ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. That number is an even number. Okay, is an even number. So 250 can be divisible by 2. Then we can get, suppose, 202. Uh, 2 to the 4, we have one remainder, so 10, 5, 5 to 10. Similarly, 1 to 5 can be divisible by 5. Why? Because look at the units digit. If a number ends with 5 or 0, then we can easily say that number will be divisible by 5. So 5 to the 10, what is the remainder here? 2, 25. So 5, 5 to 25. Again, 25 can be divisible by 5, so 5, 5 to 25. So 250 can be expressed in this way. 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Okay. So we can write 2 multiplied by here 5 into 5 into 5 will be expressed as 5 cube. Simple. Okay. So in this way we can easily solve number B. Now let's start number C. Number C says, number C is very important. Number C is 343. So 3, 4, 3, little bit weird number. So how can we divide this one by another prime number? Okay, uh, if we look at first prime number, that is 2, we cannot divide this 3, 4, 3 by 2. Why? Because 3, 4, 3 is odd number. What about 3? If we add 3, 4, 3, then we can say that 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3, 10. 10 cannot be divisible by 3. So 3, 4, 3 cannot be divisible by 3. Okay, fine. Then let's go to next prime number. That is 5. Is it divisible by 5? No, because that number ends with 3, not 5 or 0. So it is not divisible by 5. So what about 7? Okay, well, look at 7. I'm right, 7 is divided to by. So we can easily understand in this way. So 3, 4, 3, I'm the unit digit. So what is the unit digit of 3, 4, 3? That is 3. 8, 3, I'm a double group. So 3 and double hulu 6. A6 times the 34 ticket subtract 34 minus 6, that will be 28. Very simple. A how much in the put away? A 28 k 7 be divided by J. Yes, 28 can be divisible by 7. So obviously 3 4 3 will be divisible by 7. Simple, very simple. So let, let's divide. So uh 3 4 3 divided by 7. We can say 7 4 to 28. We have a remainder that is 663. Okay, that is 7963. Excellent. We can divide 340 by 7, that is 49. Now, 49 can be divisible by 7. 7, 7, 49. So, we can easily understand. So, 343 can be expressed in this way. 343 is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. That will be 7 cubed. Okay, very simple. Now, next problem, 156. That is even number. So we can divide it by the smallest prime number, that is 2. So 156 by 2, that will be, you know that 2, 7, 14. We we'll have a remainder 1. So 16, 2, 8, just 16. Now, 78 can be divisible by 2 again, because that is even number. So 2, 3, just 6. What is the remainder? 1. So 1 and 8, that will be 18. 2, 9, just 18. Okay. Then 39 can be divisible by 3. 3, 13, yeah, 39. So uh, 156 can be expressed in this way. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 13. So that is 2 square multiplied by 3 multiplied by 13. Now, next problem, number 3. Number 3. Factorize each of the following numbers into prime factors. This is the same question. Okay. Number 2 and number 3 both are same. Okay. We have to divide. We will divide it very quickly, inshallah. So 144 four is a even number. So we, we can divide it by 2. 2, 7, 14, 2 to the 4. Again, 72 can be divisible by 2. It will be 36. Again, 36 divided by 2. It will be, you know that, 18. 18 can be divisible by 2. It will be 9. 9 can be divisible by 3. So it will be 3. 
Okay. So one four four can be expressed in this way: two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by three. If you are to index notation and convert for the volume, so index notation and convert for the mandatory now. But if you want to convert in the index notation form, you can convert, no problem. Okay, but not mandatory. It is not mandatory. But number two, day you have to convert into index notation form. Otherwise, you will not get full mark. Okay, be careful when you are solving the problems. ओके क्वेश्चन तो हल्का रह चेक करता हूँ। नाउ 500, 500 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 इट विल बी अगेन 250, अगेन 250 कैन बी डिविजिबल बाय 2 इट विल बी 125, 125 कैन बी डिविजिबल बाय 5 इट विल बी 25, 25 कैन बी डिविजिबल बाय 5 इट विल बी 5 सिंपल। सो नाउ वी हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस वन सो 500 कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन दिस वे So that is two square multiplied by five cube. Okay, so very simple. In this way, we can easily solve it. Now, next problem number C. We can solve number C. Two hundred sixteen. Two hundred sixteen is also a given number, so we can easily divide it by two. So two hundred two. Okay, then one cannot be divisible by two, so that will be zero. And sixteen divided by two, that will be eight. Okay. Again, one zero eight by two, it will be fifty four. Fifty four can be divisible by two. It will be you know that two two seven four fourteen will be the uh, final one. That is two seven zero fourteen. Twenty seven can be divisible by three. That will be nine. Nine can be divisible by three. That will be three. So two hundred sixteen can be expressed in this way. Two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by three multiplied by three. You can keep your answer in this way. Okay. Because the question asks you only to convert into time factors, okay? But if you want to convert into index notation form, you can convert. No problem. Now our last problem that is six hundred forty-eight. Okay, very simple. Six hundred forty-eight is even number, so we can easily divide it by two. Two three is a six. Two two is a four, and two four is a eight. Again, we can divide this number by two. Two under two, remainder is one twelve. So two six is twelve. Two is a four. Again, you can divide one six two by two. Then two is just sixteen. Two under two. Next, we have to divide it one by other prime number because it one is odd number. We can easily divide it by three. Three twenty seven is eighty one. Again, twenty seven by three nine nine divided by three. So six four eight can be expressed in this way. Two multiplied by two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by three multiplied by three multiplied by three. So you can give your answer in this way, or otherwise you can write two cube multiplied by three to the power four. Okay, very simple. So in this way we can easily complete this worksheet. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah peace. Peace be upon you.